All right, good morning. Welcome to Reshores Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. Of course, you know that by now, but welcome to the new subscribers. Please continue to like, share, give me that thumbs up, not only here, but on Rumble as well. You can find me in both places. Well, yesterday here in Ohio, growing zone 6A, it was interesting. High winds, 68 degrees. Wake up this morning, it's an all of, no wind, and 31 degrees, a dramatic change in temperature. No wonder everybody's sick, dead, and dying. But, want to do something here this morning? First off, love me some Jim Jordan. He's holding that hearing, and I mean to tell you, we are finding out more and more information about how corrupt the FBI and the social media actually is. It is astonishing how corrupt Ray and his cronies are and how they are subverting our First Amendment rights. And the social medias, as well as big business, are all in it, hook, line, and sinker, and unapologetic. It is amazing. You need to really sit down and watch just how bad our government has become. But I want to give you some Friday headlines. This is stuff you can't make up, folks. And this is why I, not only myself, but others, urge you to be prepared. Look at what's coming. Even if you're not religious, you have to see with your own eyes the direction this country is gone and is going. And it is not good. You need to look out for yourself. Top of the headline, this has been on the news and I have my notes here. It's been on the news last night and on this morning. Joe Biden sits down for an interview with Telemundo, the Spanish network, and when asked about the Chinese spy balloon that came complete with radio antennas that has the ability to stay put and monitor over sensitive sites collecting security information about our business our weapons, our soldiers, our infrastructure, whatever it is that they were doing, they were collecting it. Joe Biden, in one of his branded moments, basically said, yeah, it entered, our, it entered our sovereign space and we had the right to shoot it down. But it wasn't a major breach of our security. Hello? You have espionage. You have spies. You have an overtly attack on our sovereign nation by a foreign nation. If that isn't an act of war and the top of breach security, Brandon, you better wake up, dude. Time to take your dementia pill and start standing up for America. But we all know you're owned by China. And that's why it was able to travel from the Alaska Aleutian Islands all the way across the country, gathering and transmitting data back to Communist China's party. And he's like, oh, it's no big deal. This man needs to be impeached and impeached right now, as well as Kamala Harris, and as well as the keyboard warriors in our military that are all woke and say, oh, well, we're not worried about going to war. We're worried about using the correct names and accepting people that are confused into our military, meanwhile, jettisoning over 40,000 willing, able, and capable warriors that want to defend our country. This is, this is just truly upside down. But these are the times that are foretold about. So you better be ready. you got to wake up. That was Joe Biden, a buffoon. Now, here's another one. Good old California. They're always good for idiocy, and they never let you down. San Francisco, the home of Nancy Pelosi, thousands upon thousands of homeless people, some of which are mentally ill, some of which are drug addicts, some of which are standing upright good citizens that hold jobs but cannot afford rent or mortgage payments thanks to big tech industry. A one-bedroom studio apartment. As an example, 140 square foot. I mean, we're talking closet space. It's going for $5,000 a month. Unbelievable. But that's just, you know, adding insult to injury. Now the city council, not only have they given free injection sites to heroin and meth addicts, 
They're saying, okay, you can shoot up here safely. We'll look over you. Now they're saying, okay, we're going to set up a red light district on Skid Row, Mission Avenue, because we have to isolate where all the increased prostitution due to drug addiction, human trafficking, we're going to set up a red light district so that they can operate safely and have a source of income. Truly, you guys are just, you know, amazing. That's the oldest profession recorded. We all know that. But when you have thousands upon thousands of people that are homeless due to the incompetence of the government, Gavin Newsom and the city council and the mayors, and you are allowing drug trafficking, you are a sanctuary city for illegal immigrants, and now you're going to set up a red light district to further destroy the once beautiful city, you deserve what you get, people, for, for there. But don't you dare leave your city to say, I can't stand this place, it's, it's gone to hell, and I'm going to go try it someplace else to see if I can set up something better. That one failed. Your corrupt cancer cells that need to stay right put, put right there, sorry. Also, San Francisco priest, Catholic priest, now says the church should condone and allow priests to perform gay marriages, should also accept LGBTQ, should also allow, uh, take in transgenderism and non-binary to reread the scriptures, and he's asking the Pope and the Catholic Church to do this. He's a priest, bishop, and revisit the scriptures because he said God loves everybody and he wants everybody to be happy and we need to keep up with the modern times. If you start doing all this stuff, allowing prostitution, going against God's word, to keep up with the modern times. That's the falling away of the church, folks. The hardening of the heart, the ignorance of God's will and scriptures. And it further verifies what Christ Jesus told us in Matthew about the times that are coming. And it will come. And people that are not saved are going to really regret that. But, you know, it's up to you to do that. I'm just telling you what's coming. And what is happening, and Christ did that. He's already told us. I'm just repeating his words as humbly as I can. L.A. City Council now votes to cancel. Cancel natural gas. Here we go. Green New Deal, folks. Agenda 2030, renewable resources. L.A. City Council cancels natural gas to replace it with unproven hydrogen power and change the natural gas plants to hydrogen power, which hasn't been even set up yet. But they're going to cancel your natural gas as part of the Green New Deal. That's what they said. So, folks, I don't know where, what you're doing in L.A., San Francisco, or any of the other places, but you deserve what you get for voting these buffoons in and not protesting and starting to say, what's going on? I can't afford to rent, can't afford to eat. Jobs don't pay to keep up with the increasing inflation. Gavin Newsom says now you can't have gas cars, you can't have gasoline, you can't have natural gas, and you can't have a place to live except for us on the sidewalk in a tent. You deserve what you get. I don't feel sorry for you at all. Church of England, here's another falling away as prophesied. Church of England, and I don't follow the Church of England, but those people in Great Britain, who may be a part of this. Church of England gives formal blessings to, to the clergy to perform and bless gay marriages. Another falling away of the church. Hardening of the heart. Denying the scriptures that they supposedly follow. It's a fake church, folks. It's a false church. These people that pretend they are speaking the word of God are misinformed either through illiterate behavior or deliberately. 
But nobody wants to go to hell alone, and they're going to take as many people with them as they can so they think they can have company. But that's what's going on. I'm being a little sarcastic, but they are doing it on purpose. Fake, phony churches that are not of God. And if they're not of God, what are they? Special Prosecutor Jack Smith subpoenaed Mike Pence over Trump's handling of classified documents with his public raid by the FBI to find 15 prior marked classified documents in there. When are we going to see a public raid by the FBI on any of the Biden places? When are we going to see a special prosecutor start investigating anything about the Biden that isn't anti-Trump and that prosecutor named is a never-Trumper? Jack Smith is a never-Trumper. And this is all part of being ramped up to keep President Trump from running again and potentially being reelected. They won't have that. They are going to find a way to convict him or indict him to keep him from running for presidency. This is all part of the liberal left-wing agenda to further corrupt what is going on in government and across this country. Be on the lookout for that. Mike Pence said he found a classified document. And the buffoon in chief says, oh, I've been mishandling classified documents since 1977. Do we really need that idiot in charge after that admission and then saying the Chinese balloon was no big major breach? The guy's a complete idiot. Syria and Turkey, death toll now at over 20,000 for the major earthquakes that have happened. Tremors are still occurring. And we know from scripture, rumors of war. Earthquakes in diverse places. It also talks about Syria. The great cities being leveled. And after, after a decade of wars, after all these earthquakes, Syria is just about in ruins. The cities are just absolutely destroyed. And Syria was a very beautiful country at one time. Very prominent in scripture. Turkey is also in deep trouble. UN convoys are on their way to uh, bring aid, comfort, and relief to those that are injured through no fault of their own. The uh, US Mercy ship, a, a, a Red Cross ship, I think it's Bush, is on its way up there to uh, give aid and comfort and medicals to those that need it. So let's keep them in our prayers, yes. Even though they're Muslims, they still need to be prayed for and uh, hopefully find the right way. But in the meantime, that will not ease our suffering when you're hurting. You need help. And fortunately, the UN and the United States, as always, the most generous country in the nation, is saying, we will bring you aid and comfort. Even though we don't know you, even though you shout death to America, even though you shout Allah Akbar, while you slit the throats of Christians, we still will bring you aid and comfort. And lastly, Walt Disney. I remember growing up watching Walt Disney in black and white on TV, Tinkerbell and all the cartoons and all those good times and the purity, the, the gentleness, everything about that. That has been gone for such a long time. It has now been replaced by Gay cartoons, woke agenda, homosexual kisses, all this stuff, child grooming to let them accept being gay, lesbian. Maybe I'm not a boy. Maybe I'm not a girl. Maybe I can change myself. Self-governance down in Florida. Disney has lost $1 billion. People are voting with their feet. Thank you. Canceling their, their online streaming services. Thank you. Chapin was replaced because he went woke and went everything about wokeism, liberalism, to attack our children, to attack our family values. He was fired. Bob Iger brought back out of retirement, says, whoa, let's stop the bleeding. And he's not much better than, than Chapin. But he says, let's stop the bleeding. They still lost a billion dollars and they lost the right in the state of Florida for self-governance. Good job, governor. They need to have that taken away. They need to start paying taxes. They need to start obeying 
Florida law. They need to stop teaching transgenderism, woke activism, hate. They even put out a cartoon talking about slavery, how that it was built up on the backs of slaves, white supremacists, and that they need to have reparations to make their ancestors whole again for the suffering of the slaves back in the 16, 1700s. <clears throat> They're going after your kids. And if you convince the kids, you're convincing the future. If you're saying anything goes to the kids now and there's no repercussions, what chance do, do we have in the future? I'm 63 years old. What if I end up an invalid in the hospital, God forbid, and a nurse's aide who says, oh, he's an old white supremacist, let's not take care of him or let's punish him for the sins of his father's Maybe a slap here, maybe a extra jab of the needle, maybe let me lay in my own filth because I can't make it to the toilet. That's the generation that's coming up, folks, being polluted by these businesses, by these woke people who do not care if you don't share their same values. And even then they turn on themselves. It's absolutely disgusting, but it's the times that are coming. The times are here. The time of lawlessness is being prepared for the lawless one. All you have to do is open up your eyes, have the power of discernment, and see for yourself. It's getting rough out there. It's getting rough here at the homestead. There's going to be changes coming. Unfortunately, I can't talk about it right now, but uh, things are not as they appeared, and we are still seeking a lot of answers, and it's not looking good. But that's what we have to deal with. Get yourself right with God. Time is short, folks. All you have to do is look around, read the headlines. Get baptized, submerged in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Greg out.